All right, coming back with another bombshell story time. This is actually like the second part to my whole vibe and story, and just what the fuck. So we get the crowd under control at spring. I take off about twelve thirty. All right, now take in mind, I still have to go to two ninety, which is about forty five minutes away, because I'm fucking around with one of the bartenders. So I get there to 290 and I notice that they are popping. They are still jumping off. And which is not surprising because every Saturday, I don't know why, but it will start off slow and then come 11, 12, 1 o'clock, it just pops the fuck off. So the manager on duty, he was fairly new, so I couldn't even be mad at him. But yeah, out of the four bartenders, he already cut two of them. He said two of them would go home. Meanwhile, the other two are getting absolutely murdered. I'm watching this shit and I'm like, damn, I kind of feel bad. I look at the other bitch ass manager and I say, hey, do you want to help behind this bar? Like, I will gladly help you. He was like, yeah, bro, come back here. Come help. But yeah, I started whipping out drinks. I started trying to hurry up. I started, like, trying to hustle and bustle, get everything we can out before time runs out and we have to close up. And I got to tell everybody, get the fuck out. I just went there to go pick this girl up and go home. Well, I couldn't do that. We make it through the night, all right? So by the time she does her checkout... It's like 2.30, all right? I drive her home. Take in mind, she lived like an hour away. I drove her home, took her home, and then I had to go back home. She was worried about me. She was like, are you me okay? Are you like... But me, still on a 70 milligram vibe, man, I was like, I'm fucking great. I'm fucking wired. I'm good. Yeah, needless to say, my sis was mad at me, all right, because she's the GM at the other location that I was over there bartending at. She was pissed that I was even behind her bar, which I don't blame her, but, hey, they kind of need to help. Now, none of this would have been possible if there's one waitress at my location that I was working at, if she was not late and did not bring me a 70 milligram Vivan. I was up for eternity. I was so fucking wired, I'm pretty sure that I was seeing sound. Well, I made it home safely, I'm still alive. So, get fucked, stay fucked.